Yo, what is poppin' people? How are you doing today? Today, I'm gonna tell you my story because last night I uploaded so late and it's, well, it is 10 o'clock right now in the morning. Uh, I slept pretty well. Um, and I'm gonna tell you the whole story that I was going to say last night, but I just didn't have the time for it, okay? So, let's go and do that while I grab some coffee, okay? Just give me a second. For some odd reason, it's starting to get extremely awkward going into Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know, I'm st I feel like they're just stalking me now, the people that work there. <laughs> it's, it's too weird. Plus, I didn't even get coffee because I got coffee earlier today, so I didn't need it. I just needed something to eat. The real reason why I wanted to do daily vlogging is very simple. And it goes back years and years ago. You would think, hey, just came up in my mind. No, this goes back years ago. And I'm going to tell you this whole story. Now, the thing is, when I say it goes back, I say it goes back to when I was in... Probably the first year of college. By the way, I didn't go to a university. I went to a community college, just to let you guys know. So, I was taking, I think it was, it was somewhere between three to four classes at the time because I didn't want to do full time. I, I had a job on the side and then, actually I think when I started I didn't have a job so I took like four classes and then I decided to cut it down to only three and then I started a job like a... It's a mix of a landscaping company, but also it's a, they have a greenhouse. Um, and maybe just someday I can actually show you guys who this man was who owns the company. Um, he literally lives like right down the street from me. And it, it would definitely be interesting if I could show you where I live because it's like he was definitely, I still think till today, even though it was a sh job, it was the best job that I've had because number one at the time I was making ten dollars an hour and that's like I've never had ten dollars an hour I was back in what was it it was probably like 2000 2015 maybe 2016 and the guy was the nicest guy mostly because he's like an old man but he was the nicest guy he didn't care what it was he would let you do just about anything as long as you're like doing the job and helping the customers. So put that to the side. So I was in college and I, I would say literally almost every single day since I don't drive, I either had somebody who I knew at college um, who was like friends with or lived around me. I got a ride from them or I would have to wait for somebody to pick me up or drop me off. And the time in between, I would always be in the library. Just every single day, I would be in the library doing the work for the classes, studying. And then the thing is, the reason why I stopped doing college was because, number one, I still don't know what I want to do. This is why I started doing vlogging. Um, but two, is because I am really bad at school. I barely passed high school. Going into college, I barely had any credits in like two and a half years. So, just to let you guys know more about me, that's I've never really told anybody that. Um, so, the thing is, when I was in college, during studying in the library for hours and hours and hours, I would get so annoyed from it, is that I would literally have my computer, I would have my computer with me all day long, and if I wasn't studying, I was watching videos. And that's how I really got into YouTube. Um, but beyond that, it's like the weirdest story ever. But I'm watching videos and I was, I'm pretty sure that I was watching like GoPros. So I was watching GoPro and that's the first time I got this camera. This still was from like back in like 2015, 2016 was when I got this thing. Um, and so when I was watching GoPro... On the side, if anybody who watches YouTube, and obviously you are watching it right now who is watching my videos, you know on the side they have all different, uh, what is it, um, recommended or suggested videos to watch. And I remember seeing on the side, it was this weird dude, this really odd dude with some 
odd hair and he had glasses on all the time and I'm like who the heck is this dude for some reason every time I see him on the side so I clicked on him and this dude changed my life and this is the this is where I started thinking now this is years ago I started thinking about doing daily vlogging and this dude is Casey Neistat Casey Neistat, I thought was like, who, who is this guy? His name is the weirdest thing ever. He looks weird. He acts weird. Who is this guy? I just got to know who the heck he is. I started watching videos. And then once I get on his channel, I see that he's doing daily vlogging. So I started all the way from the beginning. And this was like, at the time, I think he had about 400 videos and I knew nothing about him but I started watching them. I kept watching over and over like every single vlog. Now the first thing that I noticed about him was the thing that grabbed me and pulled me in was simple, extremely simple, but right when you start watching his, his daily vlogs is simply a time lapse saying Casey Neistat vlog number blah 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 and then the date and it immediately grabbed me immediately tight laces i wonder if whoever sends me this stuff thinks it's funny and i couldn't stop watching the video so i'm in school i'm doing my work and then when i had the free time I immediately started watching his vlogs. Um, the more I watched them, the more I learned about him and wanted to know how to do these videos and what attracts people. And it got me immediately. So time goes by, I'm watching him, and then I see other people suggested. Um, and that's when it goes to Logan Paul. Logan Paul. He literally lives a state over from me. It's just some random kid out in the country. And he now, the thing is about him, Casey Neistat, he started, the whole reason why he did vlogs was at the time I didn't know, and that's why I wanted to start doing vlogging. But the thing was, I didn't know what it was about. I just saw like all these videos, and then eventually the more you watch, the more you understand who he, who he is, what he's trying to do is that he and some other guy um, who he was working and met was that he was trying to make an app for the iPhone, for any phone, any smartphone. He was trying to make an app um, and it was smart. It was incredible on like the things that he was doing and I didn't know about it. So put him to the side, Logan Paul. Logan Paul, he became big from Vine. The app Vine. So I didn't know that. I just saw him on YouTube just making videos. And I'm like, this dude is absolutely crazy. He's like doing all these crazy things and he's running all over the world and he's some big dude in LA. But I didn't know he was on Vine. That's how he got there. He started making stupid seven second videos and then he merged and transferred from doing Vines on a simple app. And then went to his, he took his platform all the way over to YouTube, and that's when he started making videos. So he already had an audience from the beginning, and then he just made it even larger onto YouTube. Guys, <laughs> oh my god, bro, this is hilarious. We need to bring these costumes back to LA. Why am I still talking? Let's get dressed up. Charmander, Snorlax, Charizard. <laughs> It's going down. We also got this Pokeball. I started watching him and seeing what he does and what how he makes his videos all interesting. Um, and then after that, then that leads on to Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood made videos since he was... It's been for like over 10 years that he's been... It was literally from the beginning of when YouTube became an actual website of where you could upload videos and stuff. He was there already. It was him and PewDiePie and um, Shay... What is his name? It's uh, Shay Carl, right? So I didn't know anything about Roman, but the thing was... he He's the type of person who he already had a family, so... 
everything was more about like family uploads and stuff like that. It's got to be constantly like there's no nothing inappropriate, nothing along those lines. Um, and all the videos that he made, originally he started out doing pranks, and that's what I learned later on. But his other channel, his Roman Atwood uh, vlogs, was simply just his day, going through his day, and what he does. It better go viral. Guys, please share that clip. Oh, I, <laughs> I swear he couldn't have landed any worse, dude. You la So, those three people, those three people I watched over and over and over and over. And so, once I got, once I got this thing, then I thought I went to the next level. And I got you a, a actual... Um, shoot and point camera, point and shoot camera, uh, and that's when I started doing this. Now, if anybody already knows me here, is that I, I didn't want to start doing vlogs just randomly. Um, I did just to get used to it and feel uncomfortable and everything, but the thing was, I specifically did that test run of the 30 days of vlogging so that I could do this now what I'm doing with you guys um, is doing daily vlogs so that was the whole reason why I wanted to do this I wanted to learn for years and years and years about people how they make videos and where they came from and why are these why are they doing these videos what's the purpose of it um, and so I didn't know that in the beginning. I just felt like, oh, this is really cool. I would like to do this. It's something that I kind of have like a hobby for. Um, uh, and that's the whole reason why I started doing this. But the one thing that I didn't know and that nobody knows is that what actually is going on uh, behind the camera. You don't know what actually is happening. So it takes time to understand that. Um, and that's the whole idea why I wanted to start vlogging because I wanted to know what it feels like for those other big people on YouTube. I wanted to start doing this. Um, and I didn't know how hard it actually was going to be. I thought that the test run was simple. If I put like a whole list of things to do each day, um, I never thought that things would get into the way and it'll like affect what's going on into the future. I never knew anything about that. Um, and now, a perfect example is me working every single day, only having a couple days off, and still vlogging every single day. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but... I don't know, it's... I, I, I don't even know how to explain it any better. Um, but... I wanted to tell you guys that because this is where I am at this point. So in that case, I just wanted to tell you the whole reason why I started doing this. It was like, it grabbed me, um, and I thought that over time, if I started studying stuff and learning how to make videos and stuff like that, and then also certain things that came up that really um, seemed interesting to me, I thought like, you know what, why shouldn't I just give it a shot? Why shouldn't I start? It was literally, the start of it was simply from this tiny little thing from a GoPro. Um, obviously this is, you're not making vlogs with this thing, but uh, it's always fun for action videos. Um, but eventually you get really tired of that eye looking uh, view. So I think I will finish it here because I know this is long enough already. Um, and I think, I have tomorrow off, so I may just do that video of uh, of some <laughs> conversations on Tinder. <laughs> so if I have the time, I'm probably gonna do that. And if not, it's just gonna be a regular, regular uh, 
daily video. So I hope you guys had a great day, whatever time it is throughout the day. If it's in the morning, if it's in the afternoon, if it's brunch, if it's 12 o'clock at night, whatever time it is, I hope you had a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, and by the way, hit the subscribe. I mean, come on, right down there. <laughs>